morning, y'all. It's day 46. I'm on the rim of Crater Lake. Get up for the uh, sunrise hike. And then um, got to watch sunrise and enjoy cider. Breakfast. But not, it was really beautiful to, uh, to witness it. Yeah, I'm just, I'm tired, but so grateful to be here. Um, some fun facts about uh, Crater Lake. It's about 2,000 foot deep um, from the surface, and in total from uh, the top of the rim to the bottom, it's about 4,000 feet. Which isn't too dissimilar from uh, the Grand Canyon. Um, I'm gonna hike about 10 miles around the rim. We've already done three this morning, so we got about 10 more. And just chill out the store for a little bit and uh, head back out. Morning, y'all. It's day 47. Um, I'm headed out of Mazama Village, which is out of the base of, uh, which is at the base of Crater Lake. And not sure how many miles I'm doing today, but it's a late start. It's like 8:30 right now. Um, maybe half a mile in. <laughs> so uh, the idea here is to. Bypass maybe about a mile of trail, um, two miles of alternate trail that goes straight uphill. So save me a little bit of energy, time, and uh, I'll get right back on the PCT from here. I have about a hundred miles to Ashland. Um, already got a, ho a hostel booked, and planning to get there Monday. Today is Friday. Um, so, a little bit of a push, because I want to get there early on Monday, but aside from that, like, everything should be pretty chill, and, uh, the terrain should be good, heard of some blowdowns, nothing too bad, but, yeah, feeling good, feeling rested, everything feels nice, legs feel good, feet feel good, and just, uh, happy to keep going. Shout out to the people who uh, leave us water. Got a funny effect going on right now. Um, so, I regularly have caffeine intake um, every day. Like, I'll, I have just like a little Neo squeeze bottle that's caffeinated, and uh, obviously, you don't really know how much caffeine I'm having at any given time. But I'd like to say, probably somewhere around like 150 milligrams a day, uh, which is just over a cup of coffee. And I'll drink that multiple times throughout the day, like not, not as much. Of course, like afternoon, I don't really have much. Just to get my day started, and then, uh, maybe around lunch. But, this morning I had an energy drink that had 240 milligrams. Which is probably more than I've had at one single time on trail. Um, I feel so good right now. <laughs> like... And typically, like, that's something I would usually have almost every morning. Um, or during the day sometime, like at work. So I was, my tolerance has gone down. Even though I still have intake. Uh, but, like, I'm just so, I feel so good. 
Like I'm so happy. Like just so. <laughs> it's funny how how like it's a drug is what it is. Because like mentally I feel good. Physically I feel good. Like I'm just jamming out right now and like listening to music and just feeling it and hiking cruising like right above three and a half miles an hour <laughs> and so 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 happy <laughs> it's awesome it's more burn area it's a little bit uh older than most of us have been going through cruising this morning no Almost nine miles in, and um, not even what, about two and a half hours from when I started. So, been pretty solid. So, I stepped on a branch and had a stick go through. That's what I got out of there. Shout out to Nina for the uh, weatherman with a photo of us, but mostly me on there. morning y'all today is day 48 uh, yesterday I did 30 miles and hiked to about nine o'clock um, sun was still setting but it was dark so set up in the dark and fell asleep probably around like 10 30 camp by myself dry camped uh, not really sure Yep. What? <laughs> what the plan is for the day. Um, should be catching up to Franz and Louisa pretty soon here. Um, talk, talk with him for a bit and keep going. I think I might try and keep it around 30 mile days. Uh, well, I can finish with about eight or so, six, to get into town. Yeah, it's a beautiful morning. Quite a bit of blowdowns. Eating my breakfast on the go. Um, I was fairly determined that mosquito season was over, <laughs> and. Uh, where I camped last night gave me a kind reminder that it is not. Uh, usually, whenever uh, the sun goes down and it gets dark, temperatures go down, mosquitoes go away, and uh, they didn't last night. So, yeah, last night was uh, it was okay because I had my bug nap, but. Mosquitoes are still here. Had a pretty nice swim. About 11 miles in for the day. Um, I haven't seen Franz and Luisa yet, so I guess they're moving right along. But the Squaw Lake, it's gorgeous. I mean, got it for myself for a little bit. 
So I'm uh, walking into Fish Lake Resort right now. I, um, I got to the highway and it's about 1, it's 1 30 now. But I got to the highway and kind of decided that if I could get a hitch in 20 minutes, I would come to Fish Lake and uh, get lunch and get back out. And just by chance, I, uh, I got a ride about 19 minutes in. That close to giving up. Um, but hey, sometimes uh, just gotta give it a little bit longer. And you'll make it. Back on the PCT. I um, was able to make it there and back in almost exactly two hours. And I see Franz and Louisa right ahead of me. <laughs> ah, I'll catch them. Pretty much out of water. And uh, about three miles to camp where I'll have water. It's hot. I'm tired. I'm having to walk on all this lava rock. Not having fun. I was awfully dehydrated, and uh, it's starting to feel the effects. I'm still out of water. Um, got less than a mile and a half to go, though. But there are so many huckleberries, and I ate so many huckleberries. It kind of rehydrated me a little bit. I mean, if nothing else, and the sugar in them perked me up enough to make it to camp. So, dropped the ball in water, but uh, some huckleberries got me.